So a couple of months ago, I was at work doing my job, you know, do, giving out excellent customer service per me, and, and this girl walks up and she's, t I tell me she's a speaker, but she, the way she's talking is very, like, it's different. She's being very inappropriate with me. She's talking like this, and it just makes me uncomfortable, but I'm like, let me just try to do my job, you know, whatever. And then as I'm trying to help her with a speaker, I don't know if you're hearing the thing, but I was telling her we could look at reviews online. She bends down to point at something, and I see her bottom of her dress is cut, and I just see her entire fucking ass. Keep in mind, side note, I am gay. I am gay, wrong tree in the wrong neighborhood. This has got to be one of the worst things I've seen on social media. This woman goes to this man's work so she can bend over and intentionally reveal herself to him to get him to look, film it without his consent, then post it to advertise her uncensored OnlyFans content. The only reason this man knows this video exists is because somebody came into his work and recognized him as the pervert that wanted that woman on OnlyFans. This man works three jobs to try and make ends meet, and you want to put that in jeopardy for what? So you can make more money on OnlyFans? Seriously? So Pretty Yana, I don't know the terms of service for OnlyFans, but I have to believe that this violates their content policy, and I hope they kick your ass off. You need to do better. Mind your own business. What an absolute bully. And for what? Because this kid asks you if you're using some weights and does so very politely? First off, he doesn't see you carry the weight over, but he does see you playing on your phone and tripod instead of working out. Secondly, it's not very common to see someone using a machine and dumbbells at the same time. Two different dumbbells, by the way. And finally, people leave weights laying all over the gym all the time. So just be kind, answer him, and move on. But no, you'd rather take a video to make fun of him, not to his face, of course, because you're an absolute coward, than post it on social media for likes and attention. I hope this gym sees this and kicks your ass out. You need to do better. Mind your own business. First off, I am so sorry about the graphic content of this video. I didn't even want to post it, but something needs to be said because videos like this need to stop. This should never happen at the gym. And it blows my mind that this girl thought this was okay to do and film, then post on social media. Do you not have any self-respect or dignity? And what makes it even worse, somebody from this gym reached out to me. This isn't just a gym. It's a health club called David Lloyd in Derby, England. A health club that hosts a ton of events for little kids. That little kids are always all over the gym and the club. So I reached out to David Lloyd to let them know what was going on in their club and sent them this video. I really hope they kick your ass out because this is absolutely disgusting. You need to do better. Mind your own business. So they don't do anything to you. They don't say anything to you. They're racist simply because they leave the hot tub. Maybe that woman doesn't want her and her daughter, who's just a little girl, to be filmed in their bathing suits in the background of some video with a girl twerking her ass. You know, just because you're comfortable filming yourself doing this absolute nonsense to post on social media doesn't mean everybody else is too. And did you stop to think of the consequences of calling someone racist on that woman, on her job, in her community? Or how about that little girl? What if her classmates see this and they all start to bully her for it? No, 
because all you care about is making yourself out to be a victim, which you're not, just to get some likes and attention on social media. And then you go and you pin this video to the top of your page as if this is something to be proud of? Seriously? You need to do better. Mind your own business. If someone walking through your video at the gym is enough to make you have to control your anger, maybe you shouldn't be filming in the first place. And then for you to post it, to brag about this as if this is a flex, seriously, maybe you don't belong in the gym at all because it's videos like this and people like you that are the reason that so many want filming banned in gyms and rightfully so. But hey, if you want to film somewhere where no one's going to walk through your video, you can do as you please. Build a home gym. Train there. Until then, you need to do better. Mind your own business. So in this video, you can see the frustration in my face because this kid kept walking between me and my cameraman at least three times before my cameraman told him to stop. I know he see me taking a video. The disrespect is real. The disrespect is real? First off, who brings a cameraman to a busy commercial gym to take your shirt off? And what exactly are you filming? Because it looks to me like you're just blocking a weight rack and bullying a little kid. But let me tell you a little story. When I was younger, I was in a lot of fitness magazines, like Muscle and Fitness, Reps, Muscle Mag, and I got to shoot with some of the greatest photographers in this industry. People like Alex Ardenti, Pavel Yathal, Irving Gelb, and sometimes we had to shoot at busy commercial gyms where they paid a lot of money to shoot at. You know what our rule was? If somebody was walking through our shot or in the background or using that space, we didn't get upset. We didn't make videos like this. We waited. They weren't in our way, we were in theirs. They came first. So I suggest you be humble and do the same. And if you can't, build a home gym, film there. Until then, you need to do better. Mind your own business. I'm not going to repeat that C word, and I'm actually the one that put the asterisk over it, but to answer your question, yes, you definitely are. To get upset with someone and throw a tantrum simply because they walk through your video at the gym, really? I'm sorry, you don't own the place. Nobody has to stop what they're doing simply because you're filming. My advice, lower your ego, and from watching those reps, lower the weight too. You need to do better. Mind your own business. Yeah, what are you doing? My leg day warm up? No, don't give me that bullshit. I know you know what you're doing. So actually, oh, my leg day warm up. No, you realize you're actually the wrong with girls. You're actually the wrong with girls. Are you pointing at me? Yeah. Dog. This is fucking ridiculous. Don't come to my gym and do this shit. A ton of people sent me this video asking me who's right, who's wrong. My answer, they're both wrong. First off to this man, you have no right to speak to anyone that way. You don't classify all women based off that girl and you absolutely never touch someone's property. If you have a problem, you talk to gym management and you let them handle it. But this woman is also wrong. The type of content she creates in the gym is not okay and not appropriate, including this video. She tries to defend herself saying that she's doing pistol squats and warming up. This is not a pistol squat. You know exactly what you were doing. And then you go and say, why do we have to sexualize everything? We don't, but you do including when you did the exact same warm up and said this on the video and put in the caption, practicing every day to please you daddy. And a photo like this bent over on all fours where you say, let me sit on it. Now listen, I have no problem with OnlyFans. You make money however you want, as long as you do so legally. 
but there is a time and place for everything. And the gym is not one of them. If I was manager or owner of this gym, I would ask you once, politely, to stop doing that. If you continued to do so, I'd ask you to leave to protect my gym members and my gym community. Let me know what you guys think below. One exercise work. Shoulders. Back. Chest. You know, I'm out of town trying to have a little me time, have my first vacation in maybe 10 years, get away from it. I'll take a break from these videos and somebody sends me this. Thank God I don't leave home without it. Give me a second. This woman is not a hater. She's there first working out, minding her own business, and you come along and set your tripod up with her directly in the background of your video. So she grabs her stuff and she leaves. She has every right to be frustrated and not want to be in your video. You have to understand that just because you're comfortable filming yourself to post on social media does not mean that everybody else is too. And then you go and you call her racist for this? Seriously? I hope this gym sees this and kicks your ass out. You need to do better. Mind your own business.